Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can collect of Microsoft 365 security recommendations with PowerShell script. So by using this script, you can generate your uh, Office 365 or Microsoft 365 tenant uh, security recommendation and how uh, well your tenant health is and what are the security uh, you know missing if in your tenant. You will get a full report uh, by using this uh, you know PowerShell script. So this is recommended by uh, prepared by Secure Cloud Business Application or scuba so using this um, uh, method you will uh, generate a report like this so this will give you a report for your azure active directory your microsoft 365 defender if you have a license then exchange online a sharepoint online and your microsoft teams so this will uh, run some test for your tenant and it will uh, show the you know warnings and the fail why details of the failed report why it is failed and give you an idea uh, that uh, what you need to do to improve your uh, tenant security so this is I think uh, I found it very helpful for my organization that I can run this uh, you know uh, maybe uh, once in a month and then see what is uh, lacking for my uh, you know tenant uh, security portion so uh, one what I need to do to improve uh, my tenants uh, security so this way you can easily you know find uh, the reports all in 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 one place so this is a very you know handy and helpful uh, tutorial uh, you, you can uh, you know uh, you can, this will be uh, very helpful for you uh, to generate your security reports uh, especially uh, in the organization like those who want to maintain the uh, compliance uh, you know and security uh, takes very uh, you know uh, very uh, highly so they will and also i mean for any uh, office 365 tenant i think they should at least run uh, this report and see what's lacking and how they can improve their uh, you know tenant security so now going to the you know uh, uh, the uh, actual uh, you know part this is my uh, tenant this is my access portal so i need to uh, you know uh, run this uh, step by step so first you have to uh, must be a you know, you know uh, administrator role to run this you know uh, report but if you have this global reader road and and uh, according to this you can also see the report but uh, it's best to use your global admin account to run the report so first the step one is to need to install uh, the scuba gear module so to do that we need to run powershell as an administrator and run this uh, command so i'm going to copy this one now i go to powershell and uh, you must run your powershell as an administrator click on yes so this is our first command so run this click yes why now select the second command So it will install the module uh, named scuba gear by force. So you need to give it some time. So now it is installing the packages. Okay, so this part is done. Now uh, it's initialize uh, the scuba package. So copy this one again. Uh, hit on, uh, click on hit enter. So it is now you know setting a PS gallery repository. So. Uh, in my case, I already have installed this one. So in your case, uh, it will be installed one by one. So uh, it will take some time. So it may be uh, taking, uh, in my case, it takes uh, almost uh, 10, uh, 5 to 10 minutes to install all the module. So it will, uh, you know, take some time. But in my case, I already installed this. But uh, you just follow this method. It will uh, install automatically. You don't need to do anything. Just it will be, you know, installed uh, as per uh, uh, 
as per this uh, you know uh, command so this will be like this one okay so install this one uh, this module uh, been installing so you will get uh, you know a, a window like this so in my case i have already installed this that's why it shows already has installed the command so now uh, it uh, it's try to downloading the opa exec executable so this portion you will get an error uh, but in step 2 you will you know show you how you can uh, you know overcome this so now you can see uh, in your case it will you know give an error that unable to download opa executable and try to manually downloading it so it will uh, give you an error like this one so uh, in my case i already have downloaded this so you need to download the report from here i will you know give the link so going in here you will click on uh, show all 14 assets and you will download this one opa windows slash amd 64 exe so this file you will download this one so click on save so it will take some time to you know download this after download this after download this you will go to your download folder you will find the file in here so uh, you can copy the file and go to the C drive in your temp folder and as per the document you will create a folder name scuba gear okay so just uh, copy this one in your temp folder create a new folder and give the name as scuba gear okay so click on enter now you copy this file and paste it to this scuba gear folder so it's done now copy this code and you have already connected to the powershell so just go to the powershell and then click on enter so it will uh, show you the version so it will be look like this one so now we need to run the scuba gear powershell script so in here you will need your uh, you know uh, uh, the admin password admin uh, credential so copy this code and then click on enter so it will be authenticating your uh, azure active directory and uh, other you know five port access so it will uh, you know it this uh, window will be prompt multiple time okay so you need to uh, you know uh, click on this uh, multiple times so i am giving my global administrator password so and you can see the process in here so this process i mean this uh, you know uh, process it will take uh, more than uh, you know again uh, almost 10 10 minutes almost 10 minutes plus so you will need to wait at least uh, you know 10 minutes to get all the results so it will you know prompt multiple times just uh, click yes and you can see the progress uh, in here again So in here actually skipping uh, you know uh, uh, the video to you know not get it very uh, large so uh, it will you know uh, install automatically so just couple of times you just need to uh, click on yes to your admin portal as to your uh, you know admin uh, your global administrator just just like this yeah so just click on yes uh, just click on the name and then it will you know do the work so the you know, script run is done <coughs> so it will automatically you know <coughs> open the security baseline report 
so uh, it will automatically open uh, you will also find this report in your in the in the scuba uh, scuba gear folder in here so it will give you an html report you can you know uh, open it uh, uh, from any browser so here is your report and as you can see uh, in in my tenant it is a you know um, uh, how many tests are passed and uh, how many is are warning and also the test that is failed it is a uh, you know uh, number in here the summary is here and to get the details i need to just click on the individual part and then it will uh, show me that uh, why uh, it is failed and what uh, you know security they run and why it is failed and also you know the embedded link is in here you can click on the link and it will you know show you uh, why it is you know uh, the legacy authentication why it's needed and and your uh, the risk uh, risk based policy and the other policy in here so you will get in here so in my case as you can see uh, the legacy authentication shall be blocked uh, and also user detected as a high risk shall be blocked but uh, it did not do i did not configure this in my tenant uh, for my uh, azure ad part and and also uh, for 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 my case i have using you know exchange online i do not have a defender license so in exchange online i click on this and as you can see automatic forward to external domain shall be disabled but in my uh, tenant uh, the automatic forwarding to external domain is uh, you know enabled uh, so and also it will give me a dimark policy in my case dimark policy is failed so i need to work on this uh, this one and also it seems to be all shall be disabled but in my case is not is enabled so these are the you know security uh, you know uh, requirements and the details will be here so it will give you an idea that what you need to do to you know get your uh, security uh, uh, higher and and make your uh, office by portal uh, you know uh, uh, secure because uh, it is very important as a security perspective because your email services and and, and also your one drive your sharepoint services uh, team services is running from here so your organization uh, works on 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 office 365 so you need to uh, be very careful and very cautious to protect this because with, if you don't do do that then uh, you know the attacker or the spam uh, the scammer they easily can infiltrate uh, infiltrate your uh, you know network and they can do the harm so you will get an a nice and in you know a details report you can you know uh, present to your management and and you can uh, you know uh, uh, give them the idea that okay this is the microsoft recommendation this is the recommendation that everyone follows so we need to do this and uh, if required you can you know get additional uh, licenses like in my case if i have the microsoft defender i will get a better better result so this sort of thing so uh, it is very very helpful and you can uh, you know uh, get a very very good result and get an get an excellent idea how you can you know manage uh, your uh, portal so uh, thanks to uh, mr uh, ali ali tazran uh, because i i follow his blog uh, so i get the you know uh, uh, all the things uh, from here so uh, so in in his uh, you know uh, blog uh, blog uh, he actually uh, give a details uh, explanation how it can do it and how it is uh, why it is needed so uh, you all can you know follow this this his blog and and get an get an excellent uh, you know idea and uh, recommendation uh, for office 365 and uh, as well as you know uh, other other uh, you know products uh, regarding microsoft so that's it for today uh, thank you